It's like that. Okay, it's like that. <clears throat> Is it gonna cover? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? Gorga means gorgeous if you're new. What is up? I'm a queer over here. I rhymed. <laughs> Anyways guys, what is up? I'm so excited to be filming today's video because we're gonna be doing a testing new makeup video. Makeup that you guys are actually interested in. So that's what today's video is gonna be. We're gonna be testing out a bunch of new g and we're gonna see what is worth the coin, what's not worth the coin. Cause there's things that are not worth the coin. For sure, I'm sure. Especially when they're like really expensive, what the f oh, Too expensive! So yeah, you guys, that's today's video is going to be, as always, if you guys don't like this video. If you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it, you know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like this shirt, if you guys like the gays... Dad loves the gays. Click subscribe. Period. Oh, wait. Hi. <laughs> no, he's not available right now. Let's get started. <laughs> Do y'all remember when I did that big PR unboxing? Like, yeah, so it's all in this one box. <laughs> Except this gorgeous thing. It's all in here, so I figured I would just grab from here and we're gonna just gonna use it along the way and see what we got. But let's talk about this real quick because I will be using her later on today. My Moon Prism Blush Palette. She's officially live now, she's launched. She launched yesterday. Oh! It's a Fritz Brunet, we can't do any better. David, we can't do any better. I didn't go missing, David. The FBI knew where I was the entire time. Anyway guys, let's go and start off first thing with Primer. This is from Lawless. This is the Set the Stage Hydrating Priming Serum. So it's a primer. <laughs> so we're gonna prime this. Just kidding. I can't say those words because I want to stay monetized. Okay, so it's a high oh wow, it's like very, very like wet. Definitely more serum feeling than primer feeling. This doesn't actually feel like a primer at all. It feels like a really hydrating serum only. So please dry down a little bit and get sticky because I'm worried. <laughs> it feels like a little bit tacky, like for sure, just like a little bit. Nothing crazy at all. Like it's a little bit tacky, which hopefully will be good for actually grasping onto the makeup. I pray. One thing about Lawless, I will note, like they have like, I think liquid lipsticks or glosses. It's in that like like black cap with like a, a square. It's like a square component with like a, a, a frosted tube and a black top. What I will say is I don't like this component at all. I remember that was the first thing I saw from Lawless and I was like, ugh. Whenever I see packaging like that, to be honest, this is just my personal opinion, right? I feel like it's so much more half-assed. Like that's like the most basic, 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 basic component you could ever find is a square with like a frosted bottle. You know what I mean? If you're a new brand coming out with things and like you're starting off like that, I don't wanna see it. I think that's just me personally, but this actually felt very, very nice, very like hydrating, definitely, which was a little bit more tacky, but we'll go and try that out. But I'm gonna give Lawless another chance and we'll see. <laughs> so when it comes to foundation, there's actually like been no foundation launches during quarantine, which I obviously understand why, because we're in BG quarantine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some foundation on right now and we're gonna be right back. Okay, so we are foundationed. I have a mixture of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream and then a little bit of the Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation in the center for that longevity and that long wear. Mama. I'm a little hyper. I apologize, no. Okay, anyway guys, so now we're gonna go in with a new concealer that I just got really recently. I don't even know if this is an announced. Hopefully it has, I pray. <laughs> These are the new CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealers. I haven't seen anything about them. Not a thing, and I just got them, so I'm like, bitch, let me try it. I'm gonna try this shade 320. Oh. It's like that. Okay, it's like that. <clears throat> Are you guys looking? It is definitely <laughs> gonna be on the sheer side. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the darker one up closer because that needs more help. Is it gonna cover? I don't know. I'm terrified because this is so watery as I'm applying it, like very watery. So I'm assuming this is gonna be definitely for like the girl on the go, like wanting to go to the beach with a little something something. It feels very hydrating by the way, like putting it on, it's so thin and lightweight that I can't imagine that this would be heavy or like not hydrating. I'm gonna just pounce that in. Coverage, I would say is, actually I would say it's a nice medium coverage. When I was applying it, I was a little bit more scared for sure. And I can definitely still see like the blue hues underneath, obviously, like, hello, it's right there. But I would say the coverage is a nice like medium. I'm not mad. It's like, it's extremely dewy and like a hydrating concealer. I think that if you guys are dry and want like a nice medium coverage concealer that's not gonna break the bank, this will probably be your journey for sure. But being the fact that I am oily and I want full coverage, it's not my journey, but it could be yours. Okay, let me just go ahead and set my under eye real quick before something happens to it and I'm scared. <laughs> when it comes to powders, we do have a new powder. We have the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass Powder. Come on, that sounds like, that sounds inappropriate. Not at all inappropriate. 
that. I'm gonna go ahead and toss the beauty blender in here and set the under eye. Kimchi is a drag queen, by the way. She was in RuPaul's Drag Race and she has her own cosmetics line and it has so many products. Like it's a fully realized line. So it's actually like very impressive. I'm very impressed and happy for Kimchi. I met her and she was so sweet and so kind to me. So I appreciate that very, very much. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this powder out today and see what we think. The powder is extremely smoothing. As you can see, it's no longer dewy looking at all. Wow. Like it looks gorgeous underneath my eyes, definitely. However, it's a little bit heavy of a powder. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, it's a drag queen powder. Like what, am I expecting it to be lightweight and neutral? No. I'm just gonna set a little bit in the center right here on the forehead. Okay, now let's go in with some creams. Some beachy creams, I'm excited. We got the new Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzers. You guys, I haven't used these yet, so I'm really excited. I remember like obviously when I did the unboxing, you guys are asking me to do a review on them, the Cream Fenty products, and I was like, of course, I'm definitely gonna talk about them. As you guys know, I was very like surprised with how little the blushes were. They were tiny, but the bronzers actually seem like a much more fair price, but I wish that the blushes were this size. You know what I mean? This feels like a fair blush size to me. My opinion, allegedly. This looks really nice, by the way. It looks gorgeous. So we're gonna try it on. And to put that on, I'm taking the shade Butter Biscuit, and I'm actually using this on a Sephora brush. You guys remember when I got that huge Sephora kit? I'm gonna go and use some of those brushes in today's video. And honestly, you guys, I have used some of them already. And when I tell you guys, I am thoroughly impressed with those brushes, with these brushes. I am, like I'm actually in shock. The quality is so nice. Also that's gorgeous. This is like a nice color for me because I feel like it is bronzing me, but it's not like crazy. Just give me a little bit of, oh! Dimensione, I like her. Did I whistle? Did you guys hear a whistle? Cause I can't whistle. So if you guys heard a whistle, you need to let me know. I think these brushes are so nice. So if you guys were to get like a little Sephora brush kit, specifically like the pro brushes, like this pro series, you guys would live. The quality is gorgeous. Like they're better than Morphe quality, better than like Sigma quality. They're really, really high quality brushes. They're definitely more expensive than both of those brands I just mentioned. So you're obviously like paying for higher quality, but I think that if you guys did want them and you guys wanted to spend a little money on the brushes, you guys would not be disappointed. Like they're actually very impressive. This bronzer almost seems like, I mean, it's gorgeous. Obviously I, I love it. I actually think I could even go darker with the color. Cause like this color, it does match me nice. Yes, but I think I could go even darker. And it gives you like this gorgeous, like do again, because it's a cream, it gives you like that dewy finish. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. Okay, I'm taking the beauty blender. I'm just kind of pouncing around. So it's like blended as fuck. Especially cause like this is a bronzer, right? Like this is supposed to be a cream bronzer. It's supposed to be cream contour, it's cream bronzer. So I feel like it actually does do a great job at bronzing my skin, giving me some warmth back to my skin. It's not contouring me, it's bronzing me, which I actually do feel like it's absolutely achieving that. And I really like it. Ooh, what do you guys think? Lightly setting with a big brush. Okay, so I was gonna go in with the Fenty Cream blushes, but I have another blush I wanna use. And that is this. I wanna use my Moon Prism blushes, you guys. I just launched these. These are new. They're new to me. They are absolutely new. So I'm going to be fucking using them today. I think we have to go in with the shade Twilight. I wanna show you guys the full glory of Twilight because she, she's just that girl. Look at, like I'm saying, like literally, you don't need a lot. Taking a little bit of Pink Moon to blend around Twilight, just to give me a seamless blend. I really feel like it makes a difference. I really do. I'm gonna go crazy with blush, I don't give a fuck. I'm going crazy with blush today, I don't care. I don't care, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> $35 for six blushes, that's like five something a blush. Who do I think I am? Really, I don't know. I don't know. Manny Gutierrez, do you find yourself guilty or not guilty of applying too much blush? Guilty. So okay guys, so we have some blush on. This is my blush. I'm blushing. I have a lot of blush on. I have a lot of blush on. And honestly, I'm living. I'm living in my full blush fantasy right now. And no one can tell me nothing. Okay guys, I'm also gonna just apply a little bit of Soleil. A little goes a long way, you know what I'm saying? Look at you guys and see. A little bit of sheen in our life. A little pew, 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 pew. A little bit of sheen in our life, honey. Okay guys, so for highlighter, what do we have here? We have the new Becca Own Your Light. Limited edition highlighter. So the packaging of this, I think is stunning. I think it's so pretty. I love this like molten 
pink golden top situation. I think it looks so, so, so pretty. So I opened this up. I took out this little thing and I tried to put it back in. I fucking gouged it. I fucking gouged it and I wanted to cry. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go and swatch this right here. So it's like a peach with a pink undertone. It's like a duochrome color, right? When I'm swatching on my hand, it is truly nothing to cry home to your mama about. Like, it's not good on my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my face and I'm gonna pray that it's gonna be good. I'm just gonna apply it like I normally do with any highlighter I would. Like I'm applying, I'm like really dipping in here. I just wanna make sure. Okay, there's something there. It's like a pinky with a peach. She's definitely there. It might take a build-in, a build-in block. I feel like it actually looks really pretty with my blush because it has like this pinky peach undertone to it. There's like duochromeness to it. It's like pink. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's pretty, but is it pretty enough to like wanna spend this, the amount of money that this costs? I think it's like, what, $40? Mega highlighters are very expensive. Is it pretty enough to wanna spend $40 on? It is absolutely not. Too expensive. And I feel bad because I feel like with Becca, like, I don't know, maybe this is just me, but I feel like there's been not a lot of launches from them that I've been like excited for, like waiting for and just like stoked about. Honestly, it's been a very, very long time and I almost feel like they've kind of like, lost it in a way. Does that make sense? I feel like after like Champagne Pop, which was amazing and successful and wonderful and Jacqueline's collaboration with them was so great. They've like done cha Champagne Pop everything and killed Champagne Pop completely. So I don't know, I hope that they come back because I really like them. I really liked them. I feel like their highlighters were incredible, you know, but I feel like maybe the price point's too high. I don't know. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? When it comes to brows, you guys, we do have a new brow product. We have the Patrick Ta Shaping Wax. And you guys, I have used the Patrick Ta Shaping Wax, the tinted one, and I love it. So I'm gonna try the clear one today just to see what the difference is and how I like to use it personally. It's kind of a bitch to open, I will say though. It's like really, cause like the top part is attached to this thing like this. And like, I wanna open it from this part. Like I wanna go like this, Pew, open this, but it makes me, I open like the dump. Does that make sense? I hate that part. I wanna open it easier. <laughs> it's just my personal. So I haven't used the colored one. Oh, it smells fine. It smells so good. So how I like to use it, I'm gonna show you guys for the first time using the clear one because I have not used that one. What I like to do is, this is like my new brow obsession by the way, the KBD Light Brown Longwear Brow Pomades. Like these are so good. I mean, obviously I've known that they've been good, but I worked with KBD recently and using this again, I was like, oh my gosh, y'all, what the fuck? Like these are so good. They're so pigmented, they're so creamy and just like honestly, bomb. So good. And this color, I think it's also, I'm also just really obsessed with this color right now. Cause I have obviously like pitch black, dark ass hair. Sometimes I don't want a black ass brow, I just don't. So what I'll do is I'll use the shade light brown and it's so pigmented that I don't even need to worry about using a black shade cause it's so pigmented and like it fills me in all the way. It, she gets me together and look at this, look at that. Like, why was that so fast? Like, I feel like it's making my brow like routine so quick. So what I'll do is I'll lightly just feather this through my brow. Literally, she's been getting used and abused. I really like this a lot. <laughs> okay. Do you know what's strange too? In my video that I did partnering with KVD, a lot of people were asking me why I was partnering with them because they used to have the brand owner that was Kat Von D. <laughs> before. And the reason I partnered with them is because that Kevin D is no longer part of the company. I thought that was like pretty apparently clear. And I even put the press release down below in my description box about it. But Kat Von D is no longer at all associated with KVD Vegan Beauty. And that is why I partnered with them because the team itself, they're incredible. They're amazing. They're so sweet and so kind and they have great product. But I personally had a problem with Kat Von D, so that's why I never used her products. And that's just me being honest and brutal myself. I would use the stuff that I still had because I don't want to waste anything, but I had used their product for so long before the mess that took over the brand basically. And so when I found out that she no longer was going to be part of the brand, I'm like, hell yeah, I love your guys' products already. And if she's not getting any royalty, she's not no longer part of it, why would I not support the brand? Especially because they have a whole team behind them. It's not just one person. It's a whole team that has jobs and lives who work really hard. Why would I not support that? So just like a little side note on me personally. Okay guys, I'm gonna go and take the Patrick Ta Clear Wax, wax Gel. I'm gonna take this spoolie right here. And so what I did is I actually spritzed it with some Fix Plus. That's not Fix Plus, this is the Milani Make It Last. You know what I mean? So basically you need to wet it. You need to wet it and you need to swirl your spoolie. And what I'll do is I'll like use it and I'll like put my brows up. I've been really, really enjoying this method recently. Give me that feathered brow appearance. I actually just bought a at home brow laminator kit. I'm very interested in that. I wanna try laminating my own brows by myself. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm terrified. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm scared if I like fuck myself up, I'm gonna be so pissed off, but I'm gonna do it, I think, when I, the kid gets here, I'm gonna fucking laminate my brows. Part of me wants to film it, part of me is like, absolutely not, you will fuck your brows up. And it's gonna be embarrassing. Look at that, look at that. I'm 
literally in love with this. The product itself is so hard. It's very like rigid. You have to wet it to get like an activated to get some product up because you, honestly it will not come up if you don't. Like it's ridiculous. And I just feel like it really dries down nicely. Like if you don't want a hardcore brow product like this, like I don't know this is gonna be your tea, but I like the hardcoreness of it. I do. But sometimes I'll fuck up because it's like a whole ass bully trying to like do the whole thing as a mess. But I really like it. So if you guys are interested in the Patrick Ta brow products, I think you guys would really live. Seriously, ignore my mess up. Oh my God, it looks ugly. And uh, yeah. Oh my God. No, I can do it. And uh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> and uh, no! Just taking a little concealer, cleaning that up a little bit because it did look a little messy. And then if I feel like it's just not high enough, I'll just go back in with a little bit more. And I, it gives me the effect, dude. Look at that. I like it. Okay guys, I'm gonna go finish the other brow off camera and I'll come back with the eyes and we will continue. Okay guys, so we are back and the brows are filled. We're back and the brows are filled. We are back and the brows are filled. We're back and the brows are filled. What do you guys think? I just have been enjoying this like fluffy brow moment. Really fluffy in the beginning and then kind of tapers into like a harsh point. I like it. That's just me. Also guys, by the way, Elf did a collaboration with Chipotle. <laughs> I know. I know, it's kind of odd, it's kind of odd. So there's a couple products in here that that would be fun. Let's see what we can test out. These are actually all products that Elf already has. We have a Elf blush, uh, the brown sugar exfoliator, which I love. A matte liquid lipstick, the lip lacquer. Ooh, we'll use a lip lacquer later, I love these. <gasps> yes, an eye glitter, another brush. So it's a very, oh, and then like, the, these are amazing. These are fucking amazing, they are. This is the little bite-sized shadows, cream and sugar. My favorite one. Really cool, really random. <laughs> so strange that they did a collab with that. But might as well exfoliate our lips right now. We're already here, right? Oh, I love this stuff. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and move on to the eyes now. We have the new Stupid Love by Lady Gaga House Labs, which looks, of course, it's gorgeous. I really wish in my bones and in my heart they came out, like the first palette that they ever came out with was this. Like this speaks so much more Gaga to me than the first palette they came out with. The first one was like a neutral palette and I was like, what about Lady Gaga says neutral? Like it was so strange, but I really liked this one a lot more. I was actually part of this like really cute little house slabs video on their channel, which is really, really adorable. It was like lip syncing with Gaga. I wasn't actually with her, that would've been great. But it was a really, really, really cute video to be part of. Freak out, freak out, freak out. Look at me. We also have the Norvina palette, which is stunning. This is probably my favorite Norvina palette they've ever come out with Anastasia did, like for sure. This is definitely my favorite one. Oh, and then her liners, period. Okay, so we're gonna keep it cute on the eye. We're gonna keep it cute. Then we're gonna do the fun stuff is gonna be the liners. I wanna do something more fun and intricate with the liners for sure. Okay, guys, so with the House Labs palette, I'm gonna go in with the shade Plastic Doll onto the crease. I love the shade actually, Plastic Doll. It's just so nice. Like this gorgeous like petal pink. Just to give me a little, little something, something for the whole face or on the eyes, it's not the face. Calm down, you dumb whore. Take a little bit of that into the crease. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more heavier colors soon. So, so I used this palette once before and I used like the pinks in it. I love the shade Plastic Doll. I think it's absolutely incredible. The shade that I wasn't like super, super fond of was the shade 1000 Doves. So this shade, when you swatch it, nothing really comes up. It's very strange. When I swatch it on my hand, you get like a little bit right here. Like look what I'm talking about. Like I really went in with that swatch. You guys saw like how heavy I was. So, hmm, that shade I just don't like. It's just not that good. The other shimmers, however, are like a lot better. Look at these. That one's a little chunky, but better, more pigmented. They're just a little bit more on the chunky side. The mattes were really, really, really nice of that. So, kudos, I like the mattes, I like the mattes. Shimmers, we gotta work on a little bit more. A little bit more work, but we will get there. Let's go with the Norbina palette now. Oh, that's feeling, that's fucking feeding me. I'm gonna go in with the shade C2. Let's gonna go on our, oh my God. Wow. And you guys, this bad bitch was made in China. So the quality is there. Oh my God, you guys, are you guys seeing this right now? What the fuck? C2, you are slaying my life. Bro, I gotta really work on this blend because he's not playing any games. Holy fuck, the fact that this is like all one shade is like literally insane. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Oh, a little bit of E5 for some more dimension on the outer corner. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna do one eye on camera and do one eye off camera just so I can like save some time because I know this will take a little bit of time. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the liners now. Ah, oh, these look so sickening. I wanna take the shades Norvina, which is like this 
like the camera even like picks it up as neon. It's like wild. I feel like yellow would actually be cute though. Like a little like yellow crease liner with this bright neon pink would be really cute, I think. I'm gonna do that. So you just gotta wet this bad boy. Just like me, all you have to do is wet me and we're good to go. Taking a little bit of that, okay. So let's take this gorgeous little yellow. And you guys, this isn't sponsored, okay? This is not sponsored. This is my real honest opinion. All the people I've seen use these have been sponsored actually. So I'm excited to try this out for my own self to see what I personally think of it. So we're gonna go in. That's nice. It's obviously it's yellow, so it's not gonna be as like super insanely pigmented right away. Yeah, you're gonna need to build her for sure. It's slightly patchy, like the whole product isn't truly like insanely pigmented right away, but I'm pretty sure every single like water activated liner I've ever tried is a little bit patchy, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not like shocked or surprised. So just be aware you're gonna have to just kind of build this color, especially yellow, it's like just harder. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera and I'll be back and I'll tell you guys what I think. Okay guys, so listen, we ended up taking it a little farther with the orange and the reason why I did that is because you guys see this, right? You see these little stacks. I'm living for the stacks. So the yellow one took two layers to build to this, right? But it got to a gorgeous spot. The orange did not take two layers. That's why I wanna try out another color to see if they were all like gonna be slightly streaky and whatnot and like buildable. Yellow is just one of those colors that needs to be built. It is what it is, it's, yellow's always been that way. But orange was not, orange was fantastic as is and it was literally only one layer. So honestly to me, these were totally a hit. I am super excited to try more of them out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of eyeliner, just like a little hair, just so I can blend my lashes with these. And what I got was this House Labs liner. This just recently came in with the the palette. And I know this has been out for a while, but I wanted to show you guys it again because honestly, it actually is sickening. <laughs> and like super black and super pigmented right away. Is it felt tip? Yes. Don't remind me, I hate felt tip. It's just not my tea. But the formula is so good that I don't mind as much. And I'm not like doing a wing with it, so it's fine. But literally, it's like probably one of the best felt tip liners I've ever worn. Like ever, ever, ever. It's so good. I walked in my kitchen, my mom said, you look like Cirque du Soleil. And I was like, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. That is the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I'm the beautiful clown. Gonna put my lashes on real quick and I will be right back, honey. Okay, cool. Not bad for a girl with no talent, huh? Are your other clients more talented than I am? Okay guys, so let's go ahead and do the lips now. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the House Labs lip liner. We're just gonna lip line. I'm gonna use a new lipstick that I got in the unboxing. A nice nude lip liner. This is in the shade and pint. Okay, lip liner check. I'm gonna go in with these new little lipsticks. These are $3, bitch. $3. How? Okay, so these are the e.l.f. little lipsticks. $3, literally three. What the fuck? I'm gonna go in with them. They're like a cream lipstick. And I was really intrigued by them. I mean, with this packaging, it's three. It's three dollars. You can you can tell. But it's super smooth, super creamy. <laughs> it's so nice. Wow. This is in the shade cream. I'm impressed with this color, and I'm impressed with this formula. Oh my gosh, I'm living. What the fuck? Hell yes. Okay, so we are almost done. Let's go ahead and put a little gloss on it. We're gonna take the shade from Lunar Beauty in the shade Moon, just to lighten up this nude a little bit more. Moon Lip Gloss, which is now available on LunarBeauty.com. Look at the difference at the bottom and the top. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my God. And now to finish the whole bad bitch together, we're gonna take this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better thingy. Setting spray. Mmm, I can smell the coconut. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. And that is the final look, you guys. What do we think of this full face testing new makeup grease? Honestly, I'm impressed with most of these things, for sure. There are some things in here I just didn't love, but things I didn't really love necessarily. Let's just do that because everything else was pretty good. The Lawless Set and Stage Hydrating Primer Serum. I just don't know if it did anything, you know? It literally just like, yeah, hydrated my skin and it felt nice, but is it really gonna keep my makeup on longer? I don't think it will. It'll just hydrate me and I can use a moisturizer for that. So I have to test this more out to see what I really think of it. But so far as the first impression, it was just like, meh, meh. <laughs> like Rose and fucking <laughs> 90 Day Fiance. You're my best view. Mm. And lastly, the Becca highlighter. I just wasn't a humongous fan. It's still on my face right now, as you can see. It's glowing, but I just don't think for the price point that it's actually worth the money getting that Becca highlighter. Everything else I did enjoy. I thought it was really, really, really nice. But I just wanted to pinpoint some things that I specifically weren't wasn't like the biggest fan of necessarily, um, but everything else pretty freaking good. I'm impressed. Some of those House Lab shadows, like the shimmers, 
a little chunky for my liking. A little, one of them wasn't even really that pigmented, but um, she's getting there for sure. But everything else, great. But yeah, you guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That was super fun. I loved it. I loved getting to use a lot of the PR that I just recently got and even just more things that I got in the mail to test out for you guys, to give you guys my honest, truthful, sometimes too brutally honest opinion. And hopefully some of the brands don't get mad, but you know, it's just my personal opinion. And I'm not saying it's not gonna work for everyone. It just didn't work for me necessarily. And those are the reasons why I didn't like the product that was there. So I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys, my audience loves this video. I will always have you guys first, obviously. Like I'll always give my opinion no matter what, even if the brand doesn't like it, because my priority is you guys. So. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I will catch you guys in my next video, which is hopefully coming sooner than later. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Why do I look so preppy? <sighs> I should not be drinking a sweet tea right now. I'm from McDonald's. Fuck, it's good. If you're new, Gorga means gorgeous. Like me. I apologize now for the hyperness because she will be ravaging the land soon. Manny Gutierrez. Wait, I need that again. I like it a lot. I shouldn't have done a halo eye. Fuck. Stack me. <laughs> that sounds inappropriate. <gasps> ow, 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 ow. And that is the. Oh, wow. Oh.